Hello and welcome to my channel Among in Cloud. I am Yashwant and I'm thrilled to have you here. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss a video. And don't forget to leave a comment to let me know what you think. Thank you for joining me on this journey and I can't wait to share more with you. Let's get started. In this video, let's understand how exactly Content Delivery Network or CDN works, right? So basically, a Content Delivery Network, CDN, is a network of servers distributed across multiple geographic locations designed to efficiently deliver content such as web pages, images, videos, and other web-based content to users based on their geographic locations. The goal of a CDN is to reduce latency and improve the user experience by serving content from the server closest to the user. So for example, let's say you're binge watching your Netflix or Amazon Prime. So how do you think the content will be delivered to you? So if you're watching a movie, which will be of you know around one, one and a half hour or two hours of video content. So how do you think the content is getting delivered to you? So that is because of this content delivery network. So there are multiple CDN providers. You no, know? AWS has its own CDN provider. Uh, Azure has got its own CDN like that. So there are multiple CDN providers in the market. But how exactly it works? Right. So let's understand that. one. If uh, I'll just go with the step by step here and later on, whatever we see there, the same thing is, you know, represented diagrammatically. OK, first, what happens? Let's say uh, we will take an example of Netflix. OK, so first a user requests content from a Netflix, such as web page, image or video. So in our case, I'm requesting to watch, you know, video or a you know movie from netflix okay so this request that i'm sending is redirected to the closest cdn server let's say i'm i'm based out of india so if i'm you know requesting for a video what it will do the request will be redirected to the closest cdn server based on the user's geographic location based on my location it will select the closest cdn server so then what happens, the CDN server checks its cache to see if it's already has a copy of the requested content. It will check if someone has already requested for the same content before or not. If it does, it will send the same cached copy to the user. Okay. So if I have uh, the video that I'm requesting, if it is already requested by a, another user who is present in the same geographic location, it will cache that the CDN will cache that and make a copy. So if someone else wants to, you know, get get that uh, uh, video, so what it will do, it will serve the cached copy to the user. Okay. If you are the first person who is accessing it, so it will make sure to copy that and send the same thing to the next requesters. Okay. If the CDN server does not have a cast copy of the content it retrieves it from the origin server the server where the website is hosted basically then the cdn server caches the content and serves it to the user okay for subsequent request for the same content the cdn server will serve the cast copy okay reducing the load on the origin server and improving the speed and reliability of the content delivery OK, so this helps to reduce latency and improve the user experience by serving content from a server that is physically closer to the user. Additionally, by distributing the content across multiple servers, a CDN helps to reduce the load on the origin server itself, and it will improve the reliability and scalability of the content delivery. If you see here, a user is requesting for a content and the request is going to the CDN server, which is closest to the user. If the CDN server has the copy or the video content already cached, it will check. So after checking, if it is already having the content, it will produce or it will serve the same content. If not, 
it will retrieve from the origin server and then serve that content to the user let's say after some time this some some other person is accessing the same content then what happens user will request the same content it will go to the cdn server that is closest to the user and then the cdn server will send or it will serve the cached content to the user okay so this is how it works so if you see here in this diagram this user request content from the website and the request is redirected to the closest cdn server based on the user's geographic location the cdn server checks its cache to see if it's already has a copy of the content if it does it serves the cache copy to the user if not it retrieves the content from the origin server and cache it for the subsequent request for subsequent request what happens same content for the if they are requesting for the same content the cdn server serves the cached copy re reducing the load on the origin server and improving the speed and reliability of the content delivery okay so this helps to provide a fast and consistent user experience regardless of the user's geographic location right so that's it i had to cover in this video if you're liking the content that i'm creating please consider subscribing and share it among your friends. Thank you and I will see you in the next one.